ready to go home and take massive action this week? I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys tonight about something that people like to think of, of leaders in this business of having what they like to call overnight success. When in reality, there's no such thing as overnight success. People like to use it as an excuse when they look at people on the stage, when they see their talent, when they see the way they speak, when they see them getting these awards and they think, man, this guy just has everything going right for him. This girl has everything going right for them. And you don't understand what it took for those people to get to that point in their life. So I want to tell you guys about a night nine years ago when I decided to take a leap of faith and step into this business. I was 26 years old, knew nothing about the industry, very skeptic, skeptical, and a neighbor of mine spent three weeks trying to get me to take a look at this. I was involved in real estate. I experienced a crash in 2007. I was scared out of my mind. I lost eight homes to a short sale. And I was looking for something. And I said yes that night. And in my first eight months, I was able to achieve a level that most people think of as ultimate success in this industry. People are dreaming of that day. But what they didn't know was that was just a short piece of how I got there that day. It wasn't just eight months. So let me tell you about that night. That night started as a six-year-old little boy trying to do whatever I could to help my mom pay the bills. A single mother in Northern California I grew up broke. And as a six-year-old, my brother and I took it upon ourselves to start Who's ever had a Kool-Aid stand? Raise your hand. Lemonade stand. Right. Well, who would have known that all the, the lemonade stands would end up here one day? <laughs> the ultimate profession, right? True entrepreneurism. Eight years old, we took it a step further. We started washing cars and mowing lawns to earn more money to bring home to our mom. We learned what it was like to knock on doors and talk to strangers and build relationships and meet new people. Ten years old, we started our own mistletoe business by climbing all the dead oak trees in our city and every Christmas we'd go sell mistletoe for 25 cents to 50 cents so we'd be able to buy Christmas presents for our family so we'd actually have a real Christmas. 12 years old, I worked at this local black bridal store in my town. The lady was nice enough to let us put together bridal favors every single day during the summer to earn more income for our mom. And at 15 years old, we didn't want to go to the high school that was in our area because we would never get into a good college going through that education system. And we, my brother and I paid our own way through a private high school by working three jobs a day at 15 years old. We were janitors in the morning. We worked at a gas station. We were host to Applebee's restaurant until 11 o'clock at night when we took the bus to the train back home and we repeated it every day. 18 years old, 19 years old, my last year of high school going into college, I decided to start doing telemarketing. I picked up the phone and dialed and I learned new skill sets that I never had before. I went to college. I was the, I was a maintenance worker to help earn more income for my for my college. I worked at I wasn't in Hollywood movies or Hollywood videos, I worked at Hollywood video. <laughs> Popcorn vest, little bow tie. I mean I worked at I, I worked scooping up dog poop on the weekends at dog shows, whatever I could to earn income just to survive. Man, so many jobs, I, I can't even think of it. 20 years old, the sales manager of LA Fitness. I was also a counselor at a juvenile hall. Learned how to work with kids, learned how to, learned how to work with different personality types. 21 years old, started my own notary signing agency because real estate was hot when I was 21 years old. And as I started to get more business because of the skill sets that I built over my life, I started to get other kids in college to get their licenses and I started sending them to go to work for me. Then I got involved in personal training. I started my own personal training company and then I really saw how big real estate was getting and I got involved in the mortgage industry and in the real estate industry in California. Became very, very successful, the top salesperson in my office. And then started my own company. And in 2007, the market crashed. And I met my neighbor, Kelly Binger. And he spent three weeks staying persistent with me until I said yes to this business. I was looking for something. I didn't know anything about the industry. I said yes that day. 
It became very successful really quickly, but because I lacked the leadership that this type of business needed, my business fell apart. But I was resilient as ever because that's all I've done my entire life and I rebuilt my business again and again and again until I built my name in the industry. I was introduced to GoPro with Eric Worre and I learned about that 90 day run and me a group of my friends around the world did three 90 day runs and that's where I built my name and changed the game. And now here I am today as 34 years old getting ready to start another 90 day run with my team on January 1st. Now I'm calling the GX Global and the night's still going on. Have you guys ever had a long night? This is one long night. You guys recognize any of these success stories? You guys know that Walt Disney was actually filed from, fired from a local newspaper because they said he lacked imagination? That's crazy. Michael Jordan got cut from his freshman basketball team. He cried about it for days, but he just went back to the courts and worked harder, worked on his shots every single day. And now look where he's at. You guys know that Colonel Sanders went to a thousand different restaurants giving his chicken recipe before one finally said yes and he had ultimate success. Imagine how many years that took for him. Those are real stories of success. People like to say, Calvin, you're so lucky. And I tell them, luck? I'm not lucky. Do you know how many birthdays and holidays I've spent building my business? Do you know how many emails I get from people who get discouraged? How hard that is for me to read? People who say, I can't go on, I gotta quit. I wanna give up, I'm not getting the support that I need. Do you know how I wish that I would have documented every single moment of my life to be able to share that with these people? There are a lot of negative people out there that don't have the success that they want. They lack, they lack the persistence, they lack the patience. All, all do the cost of time. They don't want to put into the time. They don't want to endure the pain. They don't want to even, even endure the financial part of this business. And they get negative because they've lost time on the weekends. They lost time with families. All they've lost was time. There's more you need to lose in order to become successful in any business, not just this business. There is no overnight success story. Not Michael Jackson, not Michael Jordan, not LeBron James. I did it at six years old, eight years old, 10 years old, 12 years old, 15, 18, 21, 26, 29, 32, 34, and I'm still doing it. While all my friends were out partying on the weekends, going to nightclubs, chasing girls, not dreaming at all, watching UFC 1 to 110 every other weekend, watching the Super Bowl, watching the NBA playoffs, watching the World Series. I was working on my network marketing business. I was practicing the skills. I was digging my nose in the books. I was personally developing myself. I was watching the pros. I was building my list. I was sharing the products, finding as much customers as I can. I was prospecting. I was contacting and inviting. I was following up. I was sharing the plan. I was promoting events. And I still am doing it. So if you're going to tell me that every moment of my life from six years old, to 34 years old was an overnight success, then knock yourself out because it's a bunch of BS. So the next time you send that email out to that person, tell them how excited you are because of, because of an opportunity that you found that you want to do for the rest of your life. How passionate you are about something you want to do for the rest of your life. How exciting you are because of some amazing products you want to share with people for the rest of your life. How exciting you are because of an opportunity to earn some additional income for your family over the course of your life. And then you want to write someone like me an email telling me after two years or after two months that you want to give up. I want you to take that moment that you had. Take that moment you had at the very beginning when you were so excited about this. That moment that you saw was going to be the, the result of what this was going to bring you. And I want you to run for that for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter whether you get paid dirt at 70 years old. At least in that case, from 70 to 100, you can do whatever you want. It's a gift to wake up every single day to do whatever you want for the rest of your life. It's an ultimate gift. It's not going to happen from sitting at home. It's not going to happen from making excuses. 
there are so many people out there that want to say how lucky these people are for, for, for coming up to the stage and how blessed they must have been born with some incredible genes, incredible talent, maybe sometimes incredible looks, right? And they want to make every excuse, is all I'm saying, for people that are up there. And it's not the truth. You have to understand the story behind those people and what it took to get there, okay? There is no such thing as an overnight success. And the person that tries to tell me there is, I'm gonna let you spend the rest of the time trying to justify why in your brain that's true because I know it's not, period. My night continues. Tomorrow night, we all have tomorrow night. It's never stopping. I plan on leaving this conference and I hope that every single one of you plan on leaving this conference in, in an all out sprint to Vegas. The 90 day run starts January 1st. That's when people are ready to go. It doesn't mean you wait until January 1st. You got the most important part right now, which is the pre-launch. You gotta go out and find 20 new people that are willing to try your products out. They're willing to fall in love with your products. 20 raving fans of these products. You gotta go find those people. And it's gonna take you some work. You wanna go out and find, build a candidate list of at least 100 people deep. So you can go out and share and prospect with these new customers. You wanna find people who actually love the experience they're having with the products. From those 100 people, you're most likely gonna have 80 that actually are doing what you've asked them to do. From those 80, you're gonna probably have 40 of them who you're gonna have strong follow-ups with that are really excited about learning more. And from those 40, you'll most likely maybe have 20 people who wanna get started with you, who wanna be a customer, who wanna try the products, who wanna fall in love with things and share it with as many people as you can, just like you guys are doing every single day. And then from there, you're gonna find some people that become raving fans and share it every single day just like you do. Share the vision. When you get out here, you gotta to go to work. You gotta share the vision, prospecting every single day. Look for a couple customers you can go share the products with. Who's on your list? Who can you talk to today? When you get off of work, how much more time do you have left in the night? When you put your kids to bed, how many more hours can you sacrifice tonight to follow up with people and go talk to people? What can you do? Make it happen. Show the plan. How many one-on-ones can you do? How many times can you get people in your upline and leverage them to show how, how this incredible products work? Three-way calls, home meetings, events, super opens. What are you willing to do? Are you willing to get customers involved every single week for the next 120 days, through the pre-launch, through the 90-day through the run, so you can get real people in real seats at the lead conference? We can double this room. What are you willing to do? You have to do it. You cannot leave here and take no action. You have to take action. Are you willing to hold your personal people accountable? Ask them, how many customers have you talked to last week? How many customers have you gotten involved with this week? Okay? How much volume is flowing through your organization of people who are loving the products? How many people are already registered for the next conference so they can get their belief up? Have some accountability with your own team. What promotions are you doing for your team to drive behaviors, to drive people getting new customers, to drive people promoting for the event? What behaviors are you practicing every single day? Are you promoting all the events up until lead, the regional events, the corporate events, the Genesis University events? How many tickets are you filling? It's a stair-step approach. What are you doing to do that? What are you getting involved with industry-wide outside of this company that can get their belief up in the industry and not just in the company? It's doing all those things as soon as you leave here and taking all out massive action. Because at the end of the night, luck is just being in the right spot. You guys are in the right spot. But talent takes time. It takes years of work. And it doesn't come from an overnight success. It comes over nights of success. Years of success. Luck, talent, plus a lot of hard work, and you gotta have a lot of resilience. Let me tell you that. That can lead to your success. And at the end of the day, I wanna leave you with this question. How many nights are you willing to stay up to make this thing happen? Now go hustle your face off and let's do it. Yeah.